Insta360 has announced a new camera. Here are eight insider facts about Insta360's new camera. First, let's take a look at the amazing teaser trailer. See? That was really impressive. It kind of reminded me of the videos from the Lawa probe lens. If you're not familiar with that lens, it's a unique lens. It's like really long and really thin and takes unique perspectives. Now, the big difference is that the videos from the Lawa probe lens tend to be shorter clips. Now, this one on the other hand is much longer and seems to go on forever. The other big difference is the price. The Lawa is $1,500. It's really cool and I'd love to have one, but I wish the price were Lawa. This one, it's a fraction of that. So let's talk about this next camera. I was actually invited to beta test it. If you've been following my Facebook page, you might recall that back in January, I posted a photo of this package that Insta360 sent to me. So it turns out that that was this camera, but that was the second time they've sent it to me because before that, I was already beta testing it back in December. And although I'm under NDA, I can tell you that this teaser trailer shows something very important about this camera. So let's talk about the eight insider facts about this camera. So number one is that yes, you will be able to pull off a shot like the one you saw in the teaser trailer and it's not gonna take a production crew or hours of processing time. It'll be pretty doable. Number two, other cameras won't be able to duplicate this shot so easily, partly because this new camera is really tiny, but also for other reasons. Now you might be thinking, is this camera only for specialty shots? And actually, no, this camera can be used for regular shots. But in addition, it can be used for really creative shots, limited only by your imagination. This teaser trailer is a perfect example of that. Even though I've been using this camera since December, I was surprised by the teaser video. I never thought that you could get that kind of shot. It was only after watching the video and thinking about it for a while that I was able to figure out how they did it. And that's pretty much what this camera is like. It has a lot of potential. Number four, this camera is not a 3D camera. I know a lot of you have been waiting for the 3D mod for the Insta 361R. This is not it. Number five, this camera is targeted toward consumers not professionals and is priced accordingly. But professionals will love this camera for really unique shots. Number six, this camera will be good by itself or as a complement to your existing cameras. Number seven, this camera is really well designed, really well thought out with a lot of really useful features. And number eight, I would describe this camera as kind of like a diamond in the rough. When you see this camera next week, you might think that you have a pretty good idea of what it can do. And it's very tempting to dismiss it, but actually it is much more useful than you think. Now it does have some limitations and I'm going to post a review video next week when this camera is released on March 9th. So in my review video, I'm going to talk about its advantages and disadvantages after having used it for three months. And in addition, I'm going to show you how to recreate the shot like you saw in the teaser trailer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in 360.